Hey there, folks. Welcome back to our Healthy Renew channel. Today, we're diving into a super important topic, cholesterol. I know, I know, it might not be the most exciting topic, but stick around because we're going to break it down in a way that's easy to understand, and we've got some awesome tips on how to naturally lower your cholesterol using vitamins. So, before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We're bringing you valuable health info all the time, and you won't want to miss it. Okay, let's talk about cholesterol, y'all. Cholesterol basics. Alright, first things first. Cholesterol is kinda like that mystery guest at your party that you didn't invite but somehow showed up anyway. It's a fatty substance that's naturally found in your body, but you can also get it from certain foods. Now, not all cholesterol is bad. We've got two main types, HDL, the good guy, and LDL, the not-so-good guy. The goal here is to lower that LDL and raise that HDL. It's like a superhero showdown in your bloodstream. Why lowering cholesterol matters. Now, you might be wondering, why should I care about my cholesterol levels? Well, my friend, high levels of LDL cholesterol can clog up your arteries and cause all sorts of problems, like heart disease and stroke. And that's a no-go. So, we're on a mission today to arm you with some vitamins that can help you naturally lower that pesky LDL cholesterol. Vitamin C. The Immune Booster. Let's kick things off with vitamin C, the superstar of immune health. You might know it as the thing you load up on when you feel a cold coming on, but did you know it can also help lower your cholesterol levels? Vitamin C helps your body produce less LDL cholesterol, and that's a big win. You can get your daily dose of vitamin C from citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, and lemons. Plus, it's in a bunch of veggies like bell peppers and broccoli. So, go ahead and munch on those colorful fruits and veggies to keep your cholesterol in check. Vitamin D. The Sunshine Vitamin. Next up, we've got vitamin D, also known as the sunshine vitamin. This one's a double threat, it helps your body absorb calcium and can also help lower LDL cholesterol levels. All you need is a little bit of sunshine, and you can get your vitamin D for free. Just spend some time outdoors, and your skin will soak up those rays like a sponge. If you live in a place where the sun's a bit shy, or you're more of an indoor enthusiast, you can get vitamin D from foods like fatty fish, fortified dairy products, and egg yolks. So, let's get some sun and salmon in our lives. Vitamin B3. The Cholesterol Champion. Now, let's talk about vitamin B3, or niacin as some folks call it. This one's like the cholesterol champion of the vitamin world. It helps increase your HDL cholesterol and lower your LDL cholesterol. Niacin is found in a lot of foods, but if you're looking to boost your intake, try foods like chicken, turkey, and peanuts. Just a heads up, though, talk to your doctor before going all in on niacin supplements. Vitamin E. The Antioxidant Alley. Vitamin E is another member of the antioxidant crew that's got your back. It's great for your skin, and hair, and guess what? Your cholesterol too. Vitamin E can help protect your LDL cholesterol from oxidation, which is a fancy way of saying it helps prevent cholesterol from turning into those nasty, artery-clogging plaques. You can find vitamin E in nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils. So, grab a handful of almonds and drizzle some olive oil on your salad, your heart will thank you. Vitamin K. The Clot Buster. Vitamin K which is known for its role in blood clotting, can also lend a hand in keeping your cholesterol levels in check. It helps reduce calcium buildup in your arteries, which can lower the risk of heart disease. Leafy greens like kale, spinach, and Swiss chard are excellent sources of vitamin K so, if you're not a fan of these greens yet, maybe it's time to give them a second chance. Vitamin A. The Vision Vitamin. Alright, moving on to Vitamin A, the Vision Vitamin. But it's not just good for your eyes, it can help lower cholesterol too. Vitamin A supports your liver, which is a cholesterol-fighting champ in your body. So, when your liver is happy, your cholesterol levels tend to behave better. Carrots, sweet potatoes, and butternut squash are packed with vitamin A so, whip up some carrot soup or roast some sweet potato fries, and you'll be helping your cholesterol while enjoying a tasty meal. Vitamin F. The Unsung Hero. Okay, you might be thinking, vitamin F, what's that? 
well, it's not as well known as some of the others, but it's still a cholesterol-fighting unsung hero. Vitamin F is actually a group of essential fatty acids, and two of its members, omega-3 and omega-6, are what we're interested in. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are packed with omega-3s, which can help lower LDL cholesterol and raise HDL cholesterol. And for those omega-6s, you'll find them in nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils. So, it's all about finding that balance between these two to keep your cholesterol in check. Vitamin supplements. The backup plan. Now, we've talked about a bunch of foods that are rich in these vitamins, but sometimes life gets in the way, and we can't always eat perfectly. That's where vitamin supplements come in as your backup plan. They can be a convenient way to ensure you're getting the right amount of these cholesterol-fighting vitamins. But, and it's a big but, always consult with your doctor before jumping on the supplement train. They'll help you figure out what's right for you, and they can keep an eye on your overall health. Lifestyle changes. The real game changers. Before we wrap this up, let's not forget that vitamins are only a piece of the puzzle. To truly make a dent in your cholesterol levels, you've got to make some lifestyle changes too. Regular exercise is a must. Get that heart pumping, and it'll thank you by lowering your LDL cholesterol and boosting your HDL cholesterol. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise every week. That's like 30 minutes a day, 5 days a week. You can do it. And let's not forget about our diet. Cut back on the saturated and trans fats, those are the bad guys when it comes to cholesterol. So, ditch the fried stuff and opt for lean meats, whole grains, and lots of fruits and veggies. A diet rich in fiber is a win for your cholesterol levels. Don't forget to lay off the cigarettes if you're a smoker, and keep an eye on your alcohol intake. A little vino now and then might be nice, but don't overdo it. Conclusion. So, there you have it, folks. We've spilled the beans on 8 vitamins that can help you naturally lower your cholesterol. Remember, a balanced diet, regular exercise, and some vitamin support can be a game-changer for your heart health. But hey, it's not just about the numbers. It's about feeling good, having more energy, and living a long, healthy life. So, take care of that ticker, and it'll take care of you. Thanks for hanging out with us today, and if you found this info helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and share it with your pals. See you in the next video, and take care of your heart. God bless you.